បាទសូមគោរពជម្រាបសួរទៅដល់ជំនុំជាតិក៏ដូចជាប្រិយមិត្តក្នុងនឹងក្រៅប្រទេសសូមគោរពជម្រាបសួរលោកយាយលោកត
feels that he has never been a Khmer Rouge. Fought to return some like Sihanou to power, not Pol Pot. Said Hun Sen, after the coup of Prime Sihanou in March of 1970, Pol Pot Khmer Rouge took the job to fight for return of Prince Sihanouk to power. When he gained the victory of April, in April of 1975, Pol Pot had no plan to return power to Prince Sihanouk. During Pol Pot's frenzied purge of 1977, Hun Sen escaped to Vietnam and joined the Vietnamese invasion in the December 1978. While he claims the right to brag, calling himself the savior of Cambodia and the defenders of national sovereignty, the world has taken the opposite stand by accepting Khmer Rouge, the exiled genocide regime to hold the seats at the United Nations. This was a big blow to the Hain government. A very interesting observation was that when Vietnam stopped the Khmer Rouge killings, the world stopped Cambodia cold with an international embargo. No one came to help while Cambodians died of uh, preventable diseases that were epidemic in Cambodia after Pol Pot was overthrown in 1979. The reason was known to the world that Vietnam occupied Cambodia. America is the big brothers of the world shared an enemy with the Khmer Rouge Vietnam. Okay, some thank you. Thank you, Derek. Oh, Vietnam occupied Cambodia. I escaped to scan my academic world in the United States. A new world chess war games returned to Cambodia. From western slash northern of Cambodia border, Tamuk born Chit Chun of Khmer Rouge's top generals regrouped his comrades to regain power while exiling Sihanouk, known as the Fun Sen Pek Party, and planned his own armies for the same purpose. Sun San, freedom fighter of the Khmer People's National Liberation Front, KPNLF, started his own resistance against PRK. There were three factions against one, the Prince Sihanouk, the Sun San, and the Khmer Rouge against Heng Samren's government. When Pol Pot's war ended, Heng Samren prepared for a new one to, prepare, to defend his own government. Khmer Rouge guerrillas entered a, a, of a new war with new uniforms. They wore green on top of their black uniforms. From the jungle of the Western Cambodia, they fought the Vietnamese and the newly installed Cambodia in government forces to bring Pol Pot, Pot back to power. New war games then ignited from the northern border of Cambodia. Cambodian leaders claimed to fame was killing one another again and again, which was their plan for a modern day conflict resolution. They were willing to go to war, the interests that go against the logic of serving the creative good of ordinary Cambodians. Cambodian leaders claimed that they went to war for the love of the nation, Sun Ha Chien, a situation where the people were generally paid the heaviest of personal prices. The Khmer <clears throat> Empire, the size of Texas, has been reduced to nearly a pawn today because of these two types of world chess war games. They knew this, but insisted that they could play better. In the process, ordinary Cambodians paid the prices. The conflict dragged on for many more years because of Vietnam's occupation of Cambodia. Vietnam, Cambodia's big brother, refused to consider any possibility that Khmer Rouge had a role in it. The reason was that Pol Pot soldiers had conducted bloody cross-border raids into Vietnam, massacring civilians and torching villages. The Khmer Rouge, backed by China, flatly refused any settlement that was lacking of a major role in Cambodia's fate. On the other hand, the Khmer Rouge continued the threat of returning Pol Pot to power, along the Sam, Sam Ren government to the core. He needed Vietnamese armies to protect his, arm, his government the same armies that drove Pol Pot out of power in a matter of days. 
Heng Samrin's government seemed to be condemning condemned indefinitely to Vietnamese military occupation. Ironically, there was a Cambodian prince who initiated a negotiation team for a possible resettlement. His name was Prince Norodom Sihanouk, the former Cambodian chief of state before he was removed by his general Lao Nga in the March of 1970. After, coup, after the coup, Prince Sihanouk became a Khmer Rouge influencer during Pol Pot's revolution and occupation. He opened direct negotiations with Heng Samran's government, the People's Republic of Kampuchea, PRK, sponsored by Hanoi. For the first time, a peace settlement became a possibility. Of course, the outlines of such settlement were built around Prince Sihanouk's return to Cambodia. However, the international context is far more conducive to a peace agreement today. Thank you, Gary. Uh, okay, uh, first, Prince Sihanouk had been seen former resident a resistant pact that named it the Coalition of Government of Democratic Cambodia, CGDK, in the event of possible failed negotiations. The pact was comprised of well-known names such as Prince the Dom Sihanouk, Phan Sam Thich, Sun Sen, the Khmer People National Liberation Front, KPNLF, and Kia Sapon of Khmer Rouge. They went against Hang Sam Ren government, the People's Republic of Cambodia. PRK, later known as the Cambodian Part of People Party, CPP. Through international resistance, all four factions became the <coughs> sanctioned party of the October 23rd Paris Peace Accord. The Vietnamese withdrawal from the Cambodia in 1989 made way for the 1991 Paris Peace Accord that mandate democratic election in Cambodia, followed by the first general election in the 1993. Prince Sihanouk made his way back the, uh, back the Royal Palace in November 1991. The accordion paved the way for the formation of the United Nations Transition Authority in the Cambodia, U Un Untak, in 1992. Phan Sam Thich became a political party and participate in the 1993 first general election organized by the uh, UNTA uh, that cost more than two billion US dollars paid by Western donor country. Depending on your outlook in life, this could be described as the melding of Cambodia and internal affairs or kindness of stranger at work. From the United States, I too went back to Cambodia after 17 years of separation, depending spending my hard earned dollar in the pre-general election of 1993 armed with business degree and linked to American known how. I returned to Cambodia for an interpreter position, but I landed a job as financial consultant with a big six large uh, multinational professional consulting firm assigned to work in the Phnom Penh office. This was a dream job. But the ultimate personal dream of mine was right around the corner. After a few decades in exile, Prince Sienu and his royal family returned to the reclaim the royal palace while I too returned to Cambodia, not to the palace, but to determine the fate of my parent and sibling. From the Bangkok airport, my uh, connecting flight was an old uh, Russian made plane of SK Air the only flight to Phnom Penh. Cambodia that day in May of 1992, no one knew I returned home. When the 48 passenger plane landed, I could see that the runway seemed run down from the year of neglect. As I walked on the Pojitong, a sense of uneasiness for my security was here again in Cambodia. An anxiety attack returned as I looked around the nearly empty airport with, with tall grass visible to the naked eye with a herd of cow nearby and the situation at the immigration that wasn't helping to ease my anxiety meter. The immigration officer refused to give me a visa and confiscate my passport. He claimed that their visa policy had changed, but other passengers have received their visa upon arrival. Nothing had changed in Cambodia. I was targeted for a scam and extort for more money. I refused to pay any additional fee and let them know that he just committed extortion and was illegally holding onto the property of the United States government since my passport showing that I was a U.S. citizen. So 
Dr. Bradley, a stranger intervened and took the law into her own hand. With a few dollar changing hand, she got me a multiple entry visa on my passport. I offered to pay for her service, but she refused payment. By the time I got to the luggage plant, everyone had gone. Leaving the airport near deserted, I felt I had been mistreated in my native country. Rights to message was not necessary in my favor here in Cambodia. However, what happened next made the airport scam just a part of the Cambodian adventure. As I pulled my luggage toward the street taxi, a voice called out for my name. The voice shook my soul with great excitement. I quickly turned around, scanning the empty parking lot for the owners of the voice. Somehow, the voice was familiar to me. At the airport exit, I couldn't believe my eye. There she was, looking almost the same as I remember her nearly 20 years ago. A stranger told her that I will return here one day. <clears throat> Since then, she had been coming to Pochentong Airport waiting for the plane land when with the hope that one of these planes will be my carrier. And that day finally came. I reunited with my mother. After near the 22 decades separation, she has survived the Cameroon starvation with, street, with sweet potato that she grew seven layers deep into the earth. She gives the first layer to the commune kitchens the rest was her. No one knew about her underground potatoes. No word could describe the joys we both felt. So we celebrate our joys with tears. Disbelieve that after all these years, fate brought us back together again. Only a miracle could explain this. Also, a handful of Cambodian family had greeting each other's with tears of joy for the first time since being separation during the years of wars. They met and they cried for joy. The story deeply touched my heart as I too was reunited with my mother. Speaking of miracle, I was also reunited with my two long lost brothers. Somehow the two also managed to survive the hard labor camps. However, my father's and my sister, along with her husband and a child, tragically did not make it. A miracle indeed. I had reunited with my mother and two brothers while Pansin Peck had won the first general election, 1993. Pansan Peck formed a coalition government with the Cambodian Party, People Party, CPP, by joining headed Prinurom Ranarit, Prince Hanut San, who has successful, who has succeeded him as part of president, become the first prime minister. Hun Sen from the Cambodian People Party, CPP, become the prime minister make Cambodian a second prime minister, make Cambodian the only nation that maintained two prime minister. After more than $2 billion was spent for Cambodia in 1993, for a general election, the two leaders had never seen eye to eye. Nothing good could resolve from the two male tiger on one caves. The even that follow in 1970, 1977 were reported in history book as one of the most violent, why then seen the body in the bloody purge of the Pol Pot killing. Many more of the best and brightest Cambodian die. Hun Sen accused Prinaranarit of illegally armed purchase and collusion, collusion with the former, with the Khmer Rouge. The two armed forces fought one another in the middle of Phnom Penh. Cambodian politics nightmare returned to Cambodia after the first 
general election and ordinary Cambodian citizen continue to live with fear in spite of democracy and the root of rule of law that took place in Cambodia. Because the UN planned democracy in Cambodia in the first general election in 1993, the UNTAC peacekeeping operation was seen as the greatest success. The fact remained that the Khmer Rouge base continued to sustain itself at the Thai border through the support of Royal Thai Army and China as a big brothers. If you were looking for the reason for the Paris Peace Accord violation, this couldn't be clearer. This was the clear violation of the 1991 Paris Accord, where the Western nation, including America, continued to blind eye on Cambodia. Allowing Khmer Rouge to exist was as good as allowing Khmer Rouge to continue the operation plan landmine and burn down the village of those who defined them. The Khmer Rouge did this until 1998, 19 years after the fall of Pol Pot in 1979. When will this type of war stop, you ask? So the Cambodians continue to rely on foreign countries to decide the future of Cambodia? If you say yes, the future will definitely not be what you want. After decades of conflict and war, it seems that the outsider plays their political games with the life of ordinary Cambodians just to sell their own agendas. After $2 billion spent, peace continues to be out of reach for Cambodians. As long as Khmer Rouge was allowed to exist, peace could never be found in Cambodia. And the world and the Cambodian government knew it too. The Cambodians must come to their own consensus. It was not the UN or any Western country that stopped the Khmer Rouge completely. It seemed that it was the Cambodian government that finally stopped and eliminated the Khmer Rouge insurgency. In February 1999, the Khmer Rouge soldiers were asked to surrender in exchange for new uniform of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. In effort to stop fighting, the remaining Khmer Rouge soldiers were asked to surrender on February 9, 1999 and done new uniform of the Royal Cambodian Armed Force or CAF during the integration ceremony in Anlongwang near the Thai Cambodian border, said Unia Giri Wikipedia. And they did. It was the simple as that. Hun Sen, Prime Minister of Cambodia, called the win win policy. The Khmer Rouge got you uniform to wear, and Cambodian government got to claim peace for Cambodia. While the victims and perpetrators continue to live next door to each other, Hun Sen felt that peace remained fragile because of outsider interfering the Cambodian internal affairs. Although we obtained full peace after implementing the win-win policy in 1998, Cambodian peace remained fragile because of the repeated melding in our internal affair by outsiders, said Mr. Hun Sen, Prime Minister of Cambodia. He was quoted by Phnom Penh Post. At this one, at this point, Mr. Hun Sen believed that, uh, believed he had secured Cambodia peace where the UN had failed. His popularity has risen to reach a mountain top, or at least what people were made to believe. He claimed that he had stopped the Khmer Rouge slaughters in 1979 and brought total peace to Cambodia 
20 years later by 1999. It is not a small task to bring peace and stability to a country. So if Hun Sen retired from the Cambodian politics around this time, he would be the nation's greatest hero, a victory greater than the independence from the French in 1953. Whatever he had done wrong, if anything, in the eyes of his opposition, there would be a great chance that he would be forgiven by the people of Cambodia. However, a decade of pain and despair continue to remain in the hearts of Cambodians and circle of despair continues. For hundreds of years, people speak of a peaceful country where Cambodians could live free from a constant state of fear, capable of managing those leaders who use their politics for their own self-interest and the interest that goes against the logic of the people for complete peace and share prosperity for all. Lip service must end, zero respect for the people must become a thing of the past in the context of unity. If you think that Cambodia's future is the reflection of you, your thoughts and your actions or ordinary, ordinary citizen, you are right because it is. Thank you. Okay, it's your time for Q&A session. Please go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Or is the question is related to, well, I'm reading page 164, 164. And all this uh, statement or is information is given here is, uh, it said it already talked about the, uh, the uh, what's that? The game ended after the game war war games ended, and nobody come to help uh, for this uh, new government under uh, uh, Hun Sen government. He's talking about that a uh, 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 phrase right there. This uh, the savior of Cambodia and the defenders of national sovereignty. The world has taken the opposite stand by accepting Khmer Rouge and exiled genocide regime to hold the seat at the United Nations. What is the point behind that scene right there? I mean, the, after the, the war games ended, what is the point of it? What do you mean? Because you, you can't tell that, that, that frame right phrase right there, they have to help instead of turn that eye you know, you know, the blind eye to the other way and ignore, and it embargo too, international embargo, that mean, doesn't make sense. It makes sense, okay. Let me yeah, try to understand. Yeah, let me try to understand the question. Um, you feel that uh, when, when the Vietnamese occupy Cambodia, you feel that um, the world should help out, right? Is yeah, that the question? Should, and, and they didn't. Yeah, because, uh, Okay, uh, well, you know, as you, you know, information given that um, this is a politic of the Cold War, you know, the world, okay. Um, the United States is the big brothers of the world. And as of right now, and, and then 79, you know, when Vietnamese came and, uh, Overpowers Khmer Rouge, overthrown the Khmer Rouge. Um, for the eye of the world, they see that is illegal occupation. Okay. Oh. Uh, for the eye of the world, you know, other country cannot come and invading other other people. You can hope, you know, and um, come and then win and then you withdraw. You know, have their own Cambodian people uh, taking care of their own thing, then 
there is different from you come in and you occupy other country. And uh, on the eye of the world, they see that as a, a occupation is Ill Ill illegal occupation of Cambodia. And that's why uh, you know, I just put that just information and let the people you know, come out for the own inclusion. Is it good or bad or what? You know, and, and those information is the fact and people had to decide, you know, they own to see, you know, it's fair, unfair, what not, you know, then, then you draw your own conclusion on that. Is that answer question? Yes, okay. yes. It's the reason because uh, Viet, the, the Vietnam uh, uh, and uh, the new government by Heng Samran or Hun Sen that are come over and le illegally, but illegally uh, invade but Cambodia. Yeah, yeah on, the, in Cambodia. The eye of, on the eye of the world, especially the America, see that um, Vietnam mm -hmm. is illeg Ill illegally occupy mm -hmm. Cambodia. And on top of that, because um, you know, uh, Vietnam is the enemies of, of uh, America. Yeah. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Vietnam is the enemy. Okay. Yeah, that's clear. I'm just, it's clear that. I'm, I'm just put it in out there, uh, the facts. So and the big brother uh, have to control every everybody. Okay. Yeah, and All right. Vietnam, All right. big you. brothers. Okay, Vietnam is the big brothers of Cambodia, right. and in, and America is the big brother of the world. You see who who is the win, yeah. the winner. You know. <laughs> I mean, okay. you know, you draw, you draw your own conclusion. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, and it the makes sense, makes sense, that's good. It's, they, that's they just, a, it's just politics. I mean, it's not just America. It's not just a friend, um, you know, ordinary people, they do the same, you know, <laughs> they do the same thing. So nothing, you know, nothing new here, you know. You, uh, know. You're the if you, have, if you have your own gang, you know, you, you can do it, you know. Yeah. Who are bigger, okay. you know, most likely gonna be win the war, win the battle. So put it this way. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> they are what, a, what, a, what is right or wrong, that's another story. You know, okay. then, be, then become individual, become, a, a, you know, your own morality, your own thought yeah. process come to play, you know. Good. Okay. okay, next. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Kale, uh, many um, elderly Cambodians, including my uh, family, are afraid of to going back in Cambodia. Is it safe to travel back and to work or, or also work or live in Cambodia? Uh, you and your family are afraid to go back? Oh, I'm to just using an example. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, put it this way. Um, America, people think that it's a safer country, right? And better than Cambodia and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> Mr. Heng Noor, who is an actor, uh, you know, famous actors, uh, winners of the, uh, you know, famous Oscar uh, acting, you know, he's surviving the Cameroon, he's surviving the Cambodian and all that and come and die on the street of America, LA, you know? Uh, and compared to him surviving the Khmer Rouge and all that, and you be the judge to see which one is the safest, you know? <laughs> you know? So I I'm, I'm leave, leave that up to you to think and to express, you know, is it safe? Uh, because it's been 30 years, more than 30 years from the Khmer Rouge and now, and I came to Cambodia in 92, you know, uh, to work there. And I come back uh, and I've been gone there, you know, 10, 20, uh, my group go there 20 years already. And I've been there more than 10 times. Uh, nothing wrong, you know, I see a lot of progress, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, development. And uh, people, you know, starving now they have Lexus 570 and America doesn't have 
those kind of cars to drive. And they have plenty on the street of Phnom Penh. So you, you tell me, <laughs> all right? So, okay. Does that answer yeah. your question? Okay. Uh, I'll con <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was an eye opener too. It yes. seems like every house have a yes. Lexus on the driveway, no matter yes. how, uh, <laughs> yeah. how shaggy looking houses. But that's another story. That's but another my, story. Yeah, but my thing is this, um, the go, um, they know they change the uniform of the soldier of Khmer Rouge at Long Wang. I don't know if I said that right. And Long okay. Wang. And then, okay. in your opinion, you change the stripe on the zebra. You think okay. they they still a different person now because they change the uniform? What do you think on that topic? Okay. Um, let me throw back the information. So, okay. Now, mm -hmm. you know, everybody know, the world know, mm -hmm. and the government know, I mean, mm -hmm. especially the yeah. world, you know, they let, when they do negotiation of uh, Paris Accord 1991, right? And all fraction had come together and do this, you know, a set of peace, peace, you call it peace agreement. So everybody agree that put down all the weapon and in the, in the, in the United Nations, uh, UNTAC will take over and spend $2 billion to help Cambodia to do, uh, to install democracy in Cambodia. But it doesn't work. Kumaru still exists. Maru withdraw, you know, themselves and exist. And you know, I know, everybody know, as long as the Kumaru exists, Kumaru, it means, you know, Pol Pot, the killing, because they are afraid that, you know, they, they fight for their life all of that, right? They have their own place to stay. As long as they exist, the peace never, never gonna come about, put it this way. And whether people or, or anybody don't believe it or not, but the fact still remain that, yes. But for some reason, the government itself come to a conclusion that we are Cambodian. During the Khmeru, non-Khmeru, doesn't matter. Even Hun Sen himself, most people say Khmer Ru, but he say he's not. Uh, but the bottom line is that to have peace, everybody had to come together, had to settle the differences. And not just that, he, uh, Khmer Ru had been, had been guaranteed three, three points. You know, guaranteed life, you know, you are not, Khmer Ru will not be, uh, take any uh, pay, you know, and we, if you have any property or any uh, property, you, you guarantee that's yours, you know, government not taking it, and they guarantee jobs. So not about whatever job that they have, you know, so they come together. As for me, as a country as a whole, I think it's brilliant. I might, I'm, um, a lot of people might hate me for it, but I think it's a brilliant idea, you know, just for me, you know. But the sad part is that because of individual Cambodian doesn't feel that they are being so, you know, they give them a justice, the government did not give them justice because now they have to live, you know, you, let's say you, you, you are often your parents are killed by the Khmer Rouge. now they have to cope and live side by side with the per perpetrator, mm -hmm. you know, the victim and perpetrator. Yeah. And that is a fact of life. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you live with that or you're going to be live in fear. You pick, you know, uh, you're born and raised and, and, and develop with choice. You know, you choose, you cannot, you cannot pick and choose, you know, have ice cream and have all this, uh, peanut or this thing together also you know have your cake but you you know you cannot have the ice cream together also you gotta you gotta pick and choose which one is is best so <laughs> come back to you all what do you think you know i think well, it's a period. you yeah, know i i don't know i know. think our government is have a lot of pull part mindset still yeah because of that aspect i think we 
I think a lot of resentment is still there. So by doing that, I think the government of, and our people will not have that rest, that, that mindset of uh, development as going further as in terms of humanity, as in terms of, of, of the country of eagerness. Um, so I don't think so because of that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's true, yeah. but look, you depend on the world, right? On the yeah. foreigner, yeah. they left you cold. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's a and I'm not billion, saying it's, million, yeah. a million of people die because of them. Yeah, I'm you not know? saying that easy, easy answer you know? is a complex so, answer. Yes. So you pick and choose, you know, you. as to which one is right, which one is wrong, because it's very, it's very, um, uh, you know, it's not black and white, you know, yeah. or a lot yeah. of gray, you yeah. know. If you concern on your feeling, then you live, you know, people come in helping you and kill a couple of million people, yeah. you know, and they take your property away and all that. So you pick and choose because yeah, we agree. are out. So we, we cannot say much, you know, yeah. but, yeah. you know, just personally, I think it's a brilliant idea. You know, you, you, you. united, you know. Yeah. Well, we only can do so much as we can go back and help. Mm -hmm. So as much as we can do for a little look, bit for our country, that's great. Like, so look at, you, uh, you know, I, I think uh, uh, Gary, I mean, Kerry also asking about, uh, or somebody asking about the uh, tribunal. Is it fair or not fair and all that, you know? So don't you feel good? You have tribunal cut, you know, cut, they cut to so put, you know, put them lie in prison and, you know, wouldn't be justice served, you know, what, what, what else do you want, you know, and I don't feel justice served, you know, I, I mean, so, but when, when now you, people be able to go every place on the corners of the country without have the fear of the Kamaru, all that, and people come in, now they clean mines, yeah, they clean mine, and then I heard that these days, all the areas uh, where the mine was uh, uh, planted, now they've been extracted and become a beautiful landscape, have agriculture, and they're developing as a some kind of uh, tourist place that people come to see, you know, come to experience, <coughs> you know, the Kamaru zone, the fighting, the landmine, all that now it become a prosper, a place that have agriculture products such as uh, black pepper, and that is famous now in the world. You know, uh, yeah. so yeah. You, you, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, Thank you. You, can, you cannot pick and choose. You gotta, you know, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta be, with it. yeah, yeah gotta you gotta, play. you gotta, you know, choose like I choose. I choose my route, you know, um, 30, 40 years ago. So. Yeah, I'll come, I'll come, yeah. But, uh, Lepo, oh, Kerry, you, you, you have any other question or it's okay for you? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, okay, let, let my turn, yeah. Lepo, uh, and the dollar to not die, Lepo, just be your, be your own home, how are you, be your own home, they say, nhiều các bạn trên ở Singapore hay đấy, đây xa là phụ thuộc ở job bẹ bòn chỉ mỗi nâng cao clear passport vì chợ chùa màu nó thua ở là phụ nơi khỏi kề. Cái này nè, đặc biệt đây là phụ trên màu hay bán chùa nẹp mà đai để bán bạch nè giáp về mà phải chăn nằm nè. Đường nè, về chọn tới vì ở cha mình tên, dưới thuộc tại mười không đường còn và mới khi nào đường con được ai kể bàn thờ màu trắng đó nhá hay đường con nó dừng mới tới co ở cụ ao rồng phơ cụ ao ở cha ở quay đại nước man tham bị việc mình cài lang bị ai cài lang khi nông pe là nằng nhóm trang xu lục pu thật ta nẹp mà đại là bỏ lục pu nó cày bị đằng đầm đằng thay lục pu thay nam mùi màu lục pu nằng chơi màu sọc mai ta quát tận tận rong chăm nâng mau bảo liên cho họ phụ nữ trong nâng bộ mán xa bộ mán đó hay là phụ miền bắc xưa quát tết rồi mà trong khâu ấy nâng bàn xe đạp xung bên kia chỉ cà phê cày bẹ bẹ kia giờ bẹ mà phải chăn nằm nâng lục phụ ba xong chơi lục phụ ba. Well, she told me she came every day, so did she? I didn't ask her how long. I would say probably a couple of months. 
he came to airport to to uh, Po Chung Tong every day. Wow. You know, she dream and also somebody in the UN. Uh, you know, some people say you know, uh, you know, told her that I'm still alive and I'm seeking. Uh, I'm I sent a lot of letter through the. U.S. Embassy in Bangkok, you know, since 1985, 84, 85, you know, seeking to uh, my family who who's a wife and whatnot, and uh, you know, and she knew that I, I still alive, but she didn't know, uh, you know, in that context. But some people told her that yes, he he gonna come, you know. He gonna come, uh, but they don't know when. You know, uh, I guess through uh, maybe people who have read that information. You know, and uh, I remember when I was uh, before I came uh, to America. I mean, to to Cambodia. I have a friend, Marcus. Uh, Susan Merkus, who find sponsor for me in America. <coughs> in 19, 1992, she also still working in US embassy. And she also a friend of uh, 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 Bangkok Airway, I mean, the people over there. And I had communicated to her a couple of months before I came. I, saw, I told her that I wanted to come to Bangkok and go to Cambodia. Uh, you know, I assume that probably that information have been, you know, forward to Cambodia. You know, plus um, the United Nations uh, secured me a position as a first person to be a translator for in the office of uh, UNTAC. You know, uh, what's his name? Um, the Japanese uh, Japanese uh, person. Uh, who is the lead? Who is the leader of the UNTAX? Ah, I forgot. How can I forget his name? Uh, you know, he. You know, so yeah. So I, I, I assume that through that information, you know, Cambodian, you parents and people, brothers, you don't, they don't talk much, yeah. You know, about stuff. Whatever happened is happened. So <laughs> it's a miracle. You know, I cannot explain it. Uh, I, I, I'm. That's my heart. Think that is a miracle has happened this way, you know. But I still probably can still find them because, you know, I went to uh, back to Kampung Cham, uh, you know, and I meet my cousin and all that, and they know they, they uh, what you call it, uh, aware or aware about of my parents or my mother. Yeah, it's a it's a miracle by itself, you know. Yeah, she came every day. She said, you know, she get mad with my two brothers. Sometimes they say, ah, he never come, you know, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> but my mother's, she came, she she ride tuk tuk or whatever. She came, she come in the morning, she stay there until the evening. She go back, you know. So. Ba quân chân a lapu, nhung kata, nhung vim, chong su, lò si jim rau, bi a tất chất, a no pay a chuk nung, ba, bana tu bay yan akadao, yu mi nè rum, a chè, samai, samai, tè krong hai ka nang, bà sân chì yu, yu kata, bi a lù lù mi bà sachem, bi chì rung a chai yat, made a call, chì rung a chai yat, dài kata, a way the yung nèk smam, mada bi a ka lang, ba. Chung a knyong mi nè bun nang, a lù kudere, mi nè tèm tèm. He's 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 uh, uh, I'm mute, mute. I'm mute. Look at some I'm mute, but okay. the political chart, but term of a chart, but you one Yeah, this is uh, uh, let me uh, this chapter is it. This is uh, yeah. let and both of the 
everything. You said you get uh, you uh, what you returned to Cambodia and you got the job, you land a job as a consultant, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of consultant right here is a uh, uh, multi, yeah, multinational professional consultant, right there. So look, who, uh, when you go to so do you have somebody bag you up over there or just you go by yourself and just think about, okay, it's my turn, I have to return and then make you know, make a business or you know, you want to become a, a part of the political too, maybe, maybe po political party too? Um, part of that? Yeah, I'm going back to be a big man over there, <laughs> you know, and I did, you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping out, uh, only a few Cambodian hoping out the 1993 general election. You know, in, in 1993, and I go uh, one year ahead, 1992, you know, yeah, I stay with the UN, you know, what I say go, you know, I have the degree and I have experience translating with the US embassy, you know, and all that. Now I'm translating our United Nations, uh, you know, uh, a lot of powers, a lot of, you know, uh, um, thing to say, you know, but then I found a better job. You know, it's Instant Young is the company. Uh, one of the, right now is a big four of the, you know, of the consulting firm, uh, you know, and when they saw my uh, credential, they tracked me right away. And, you know, the, to pay get what, uh, what, at the time six, 7,000 a month, that's your side, the client gonna lose your side for that. You know, nobody could pay that much. Even the general who, Australian general who come to in charge the United Nations force over there, he never got paid six, seven thousand dollars a month. He got paid about three thousand a month. You know, so. It's big, big money in cool. Yeah. So I did, I, I took it, you know. And then you come and back plus, here. Plus, yeah, plus uh, the United Nations $2 million is, I, I had to watch that. I had to audit and uh, certify that. Is it spending properly or not? My company certified that, you know, and I did the work. It's not, it's nothing small over there. You know, you get to but, land those yeah. kind of job and it's not, it's not small thing. Yeah, and I'm know, not a person. A big task. Yeah, I'm not a person, uh, you know, brag or trying to, you know, mm. it, it, you know, it's, you know, I don't use, uh, I don't use uh, past performance as as my, you know, as my, as my current. So I moving forward you know, as to what I needed to do to help out people. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's a big thing, you know, at the time. 1992, nobody came, you know, at the yeah. time, right? Not too many Cambodians. Even no. they came, they not be a part of the United Nations involvement because 1982, I mean, nobody has any kind of degree yet, I think. You know, only Monsieur, Monsieur has a doctor degree already. You know, we go to school at the same time. <laughs> but he's his doctor, right? He make much more money than that. You know? No, no, I'm not involved in any party, anything like that. You know, Hun Sen won me badly, but I never, you know, I say, you, you cannot pay me. You know, I say, Bong, you cannot pay me to get pay me. Can you, do you want to pay me 10,000 a month? You know, and say, I don't have money to pay you that much. <laughs> you know, I say, no, and then just leave me be. You do your thing, I do my thing. You know? Okay, Kerry, well, um, question. Well, what's the benefit of having two prime ministers in Cambodia? Like, why do we have two? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I don't know if you have, if you, uh, Totally read the question, whole yeah. um, When 
when the, the election, uh, the ballot, you know, counted and Pan Simpek won the election, yeah? Uh, and uh, certified by the United Nations uh, that Fon Simpek won. Uh, when, when he, when the Simpek won, then uh, they assigned pre Prime Minister, I mean, uh, runner Prince Ranarit as a prime, prime Minister. And Hun Sen do not agree, don't want, don't want to give the powers. You know, because he, he the former, he the Prime Minister before the Hun Sen. So uh, what he did, he, uh, he said, no, I don't want to give up. So he go out to form a force, an armed force in some other place like Phung Cham, some place in Vietnam. Uh, you know, they had to negotiate with him. He said, war gonna come. You had to uh, somehow, you know, give me some kind of position in the government. You know, you, you cannot just want and take the country and I'm, I'm the one who, who fighting you know, from the first day of the, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, you know, or uh, take, take power from Pol Pot. No, you're gonna negotiate. It's not, I'm, I'm, I'm for my own uh, force and go fight with you, with UNTAC, you know. <laughs> so with the pressure of the outside, with the government, with the other countries such as America, Japan and all that, they, pressure run away to negotiate with Hun Sen. And then uh, Hun Sen, you know, in the decision, okay, we give you a position as second prime minister. What do you think? And Hun Sen said, okay, I take second prime minister. <laughs> you know, it's number two person. Then, then more like it. He, I, I think he's brave. He, uh, he's plus, but it worked for him. You know, uh, because he knew that Though, though this foreigner have, have no gut, have no, you know, have no stand, put it this way, <laughs> to challenge him because, you know, he's, uh, you know, I mean, you look at it. I mean, um, what, let's say in Cambodian, in Cambodian uh, context, this is my home, Hun Sen said. You know, Cambodia is my home now. And you come in and you say that, oh, you cannot do the work now it's my your home what happened is they go and take your home let's say let's say uh carry you have a home right you know a land 10 acres and a home like that you know you do your farming and then people go and say oh you your crops not working well you you go get out i i i do the farming i i plan and you know take care of you plan. what do you think <laughs> you know and we're talking about cambodia now you're not talking about <laughs> you know, so I don't know. What do you thought? It's, it's, it's uh, you know, you had to kind of be fair or thinking that way, you know, because that's a Cambodian way. We come to America, we, we what, a hundred years ahead of Cambodia and all that, but, you know, in Cambodia, is Cambodia. You know, you cannot apply your standard to Cambodia, you know. <laughs> You can teach them to learn, and, and uh, you look at it. You look at it as a fairness, as a middle. You know, what happened is Hun Sen do not negotiate. He already have the power. He already prime minister. He already have the powers. You know, he he don't negotiate. He say no, no, no prime, no no peace agreement. Fuck with that because you guys screw up. You guys you know, have all this peace agreement, you never agree, you know? No, I'm closing the door, you know? He, he can do that though, right? <laughs> you, know? you know, but he, he's, you know, he brave enough or he um, feel that, yes, he needed people to help. In other words, he want people to come in and help him to develop the country to a better country not come in, try to kick him out of the country. You know, that's not a way to do business in Cambodia, right? I don't know, I'm just saying that. I know people will hate me for this, for what I'm just saying. But hey, I'm the in America, freedom of speech. You've got to speak what your mind says, you know? And I feel that, you know, 
anything aside, I mean, everything is the same. He was brave that <laughs> America come back in, you know, with, with all the country come back in again, you know, so. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not about yeah. consent, yeah. by the way, but I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, you know, in my feeling, if I were to be in that position, what I would have done, you know, no way, I'm close the door, man. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, let's go with me. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to know, um, you know, America declared himself independent from British because they got a strong okay. foundation. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and us as a Cambodia, when we declare ourselves from French, I believe, what, 53? Uh, 53, yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you think we have the foundation that's strong enough to get a, you know, to be our own state? And also by doing that, when for being independent from a friend, right? Are they really strong enough to be your own country? Not only that, how much a percentage that led to Pol Pot because of that? What do you think of, what are your opinion? Um, okay, well, Pol Pot involved also in the dependent of the, oh, okay. uh, from the French. Eh? He also mm -hmm. want to have independent from the French. Okay. But he, he do independent from the French by using weapon, you know, uh, fight, fighting with the French because he have, at the time he have, uh, but it's not Pol Pot actually another person uh, to some mood, you know, but oh. Pol Pot also is there. He's probably number <coughs> number five, person at the time, you know, yes. but they're in the, in the group of the, mm. at, at, at the time they call Khmer as a rat or some, some sort, you know, from the World War II. Okay. And, um, and uh, but she knew, you know, quite um, clever enough, you know, because he knew that uh, his military, small, very small, right? He cannot, he, he cannot, he, he fight, in getting independent, you're right. The, the country cannot stand, I mean, the country is small and cannot defend themselves when you get a depend, independent. Somebody else gonna come and take over, right? You know, because you a lot, we, 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 we lost a lot of land to, uh, to Thailand and lost a lot of land to Vietnam, right? You know, so Vietnam gonna come, Thai gonna come and will tear Cambodia apart. But when he do that, and then have a support from the America, you know, and also European country, even the French country themselves supporting that. So, okay, you, 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 get, you, you get your, your dependent. We will support you through the agreement, Geneva, Geneva agreement that saying that you as a neutral country with Laos and Cambodia and a neutral country and Vietnam divided into two to your north and south. One is a pro-democracy, one is uh, anti, you know. So in that sense, yeah, he, he had the backup of the power country. So yeah, he, 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 he can, uh, Cambodia can be independent at the time, at that time, you know, because the world agree, the world back up Cambodia a neutral country and Laos also. And now he have, Cambodia have the, have leg to stand on, have four leg to stand on, you know, because of the agreement from, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a support by the world, you know. And I, I can have my whole chapter by itself be independent, how Sinu uh, get independent and all that, but I just feel that, yeah, enough, <laughs> enough, yes, you know, to just saying that, yeah, he, he get the credit for it and all that. And uh, yeah, to be fair, you know, you don't want to dig to uh, the yeah, past too yeah. much. You just, just wanted to present the fact and, you know, the fairness and all that, you know, if you in his shoe, what you gonna, what will you do, you know? You know, so he just do the best he can. And at the time, I mean, he's brave. To me, he's brave, even though he made a couple of mistakes here and there, but, you know, he deserves whatever the title, whatever people love him until this day, you know? Uh, not too many people can do it, 
<laughs> you know? Yeah. So, Thank you. Okay. I don't know if it's answer your question or not. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It just, I felt like they're not a strong enough country to be independent. Don't get me wrong that we don't need it, but I think yeah, but that's not the they, time. Yeah, yeah, they get supported from America and you know, for, yeah. for European country, you know, yeah, yeah. to help out. Yeah, so. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I don't hear you well. Uh, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, that is better. Uh, that's better. Well, it's not much. I just uh, I bought a land at the Chujung Wa. I built a house for her to live. Uh, she lived a good life. Uh, you know, I support her through all these years. Uh, my two brothers, he's, um, he's a big, you know, uh, man in the government, you know, he have his own life to live. Uh, yeah. I mean, not, not much that I can tell. Right. Yeah. They live good life, much better than us in America, I think, <laughs> you know. Uh, and my mom, she's, uh, she's a devout uh, Buddhist, uh, you know, so she have her own place, you know, uh, next to the, the river. So I'm trying right now, I try to make that place, I try to make that place to, uh, you know, have a dorm, build a dorm for the, my project, you know, for the girl, for all the, the girl who uh, come in to go to university, you know, in Phnom Penh like that, and they don't have a place to stay, they can stay there. I'm gonna spend some money to build that. But for now, I, I somehow, you know, will not be able to uh, come to a consensus that that place will convert it to, to those kind of, uh, and then I can put you know, like my, my father's and my mother's uh, place uh, as of what you call it, as a foundation, you know. In Cambodian word, they have a seiki. What is it, what the name? Muleti. Nangai, I wanted to have that place at Muleti. So at least uh, the legacy was built, you know, that, uh, you know, through her, I mean, through her name and my father's name and the name of Keo, uh, you know, will use that place as a mulati to help out the poor, the misfortunate. And then I will be a person able to drum up, you know, funding, donation and all that to make that place a much better, a much better use of it, you know. Uh, so, but right now, I don't know, uh, we still have to talk about that to see you know, because uh, the price at the Trojan War now is go up sky high. You know, when you when you go up sky high, everybody want a piece of it, even though it's not them. You know, they have nothing to do with it, but they want something. You know, that's a Cambodian way of doing things. Huh? They don't care about your relative. They don't care that you are relative. They don't care you sweat your your money, your you know, your wife, your children. Sweat because you know to spend those kind of money we had to share we had to sacrifice our life over here and then to hope over there and then they don't see stuff like that you know so and I'm not a person so I want them to come in to the own senses that is better juice is to do that multi you know so that um so that legacy will continue forever. You not when you die, you don't die, you know, with the property that you have, with the five hundred and seventy, uh, what five seventy, uh, you know, uh, Lexus, you know, when you die, you can drive over there, man, 
<laughs> you go to hell, I think. <laughs> you know, but you have some kind of multi, you know, people look up to you, right? You know, that's how life is all about. You know, you, uh, you give, you give back, you know, because, you know, they don't know what to do with the money and they still want money. I don't get that, you know. <laughs> so, wow. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I don't know how much I can share with you uh, stuff like Okay, and so uh, no other question? Okay, well, uh, that chapter is a lot of stuff. You know, I don't know uh, um, the takeaways that uh, Cambodia, you know, in this, this, this uh, chapter is about Cambodia. Uh, you know, Cambodia is not belong to one man or one group. It belongs to everybody, you know, all of us. But as a people who who feel that they are snaihachit, you have to think twice, three times, maybe seven times. That no matter what, you know, in terms of you have a differences and your political arena, opinion, and all that, um, to get the country moving forward, you have to row that boat together. You know, nobody put, you know, in the boat in the in the in the boat and trying to, people trying to row the boat, you know, and to a destination that you wanted to go. And then a lot of people put their feet, you know, in the waters and, you know, uh, or maybe or whatever, you know, yeah. <coughs> you know, because that's Cambodian uh, disease. I said that before, you know, and um, that feel that everybody individual feel that they 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 better they they got king they they do better they the best and all that and you they know that it's not working you know through hundreds of years already those bickering and and you know I'm right you wrong it's, you know it, it just doesn't work and you're talking about century now you know from the umpire you know you know so you're supposed to be like when you have an umpire right you're supposed to be somehow come together, you protect your umpire, you know, make it bigger and bigger in progress, make, you know, develop your country to be a powerful country. Uh, and you only can do that if you can, you know, somehow you, you row the boat together, but if you divide it, then, you know, it, uh, you know, but still Cambodian these days, they're still doing that. You know, and they're not learning it, anything at all. They don't learn anything at all. That's what I don't get that, you know? Political party, uh, what do you call it? Opposition party and you know, all that. You have to understand that, you know, uh, the government, whoever the government, the country, you know, you have to understand Cambodia. You, you, you come to hope no matter who on the, the top, you gotta hope, you know? When you have your chance, then you can, you know, do stuff. But if you don't want, you don't have your chance yet, just hope, you know, which way you can, you know. And that way you, you, you hope rowing the boat, make it faster. Um, not just rowing the boat, you have to smooth the bottom of the boat too. You make it smooth so that it not resist to the water, yeah? Keep painting and, you know, and not just rowing together. It's not enough, you know. You gotta keep develop and make the make the uh, boat is more, less resistant, and not just that. You come in and you're not trying to row you inside the boat, and you're trying to. It just don't work, you know. And that these chapters have already know that if you do that, it's like a a, a Cambodian uh, joke. Uh, they come in yeah? Uh, they have these two brothers. They had two brothers. Uh, uh, they got. They want to have. The, they have a banana, right? So the the older brother, goes, hey, we got a banana. Hey, have a do you know? Own. I I get 
อ่าบ่งยึดกัดมกนาติเกอ้ายอูนเกมกนาติอีตมกนาตินาเกอดจองอีตองอ๋อนูเกรบานูเกอดอูนมกนาติเกยอดมกนาติเนาะอ่าอ
you know and uh, well, I just want to say that this chapter is very complex chapter to understand, and yet you uh, help us with a simple term to really uh, understand it. And I hopefully the viewer would, would, would grab the book and able to read your history and know and where you know uh, where how our government in Cambodia come into power and how they play in the world game and the, and the bigger brother as in United States and a different area of uh, how they go about or try to uh, do the world peace. So all in all, grab the book of Khmer Rise and understand your history, know your history and know why we here in the United States of America because of Khmer majority of them, I'm sure we all come from the same line of struggle, like uh, our author Patrick Gao, uh, that uh, went through it and able to share with us his journey. And by purchasing his, his book, you will help out with his organization that helped put those women in uh, Cambodia to school, to education, to solve this complex problem is only through education. And uh, like he was saying that we get to come together as a unity. Without the unity, the, any community will not be as one. So as in terms of that, I just wanna say that educate yourself uh, through this book and reach out to us or to the author and uh, ask more questions and know more about it. So all in all, there's many book about it, but it's no more than powerful than this my rise how I escaped the genocide and also the starving season. I think those two books from all the books that I've read so far is very simple, easy to read, easy to understand, and also the author is very friendly and reachable. So those that see the, us out there um, reading this, please grab your book and you're helping out our country and also help us to spread the education as in terms of solving this problem, we never go solve, but at least we go able to help and ease a little bit of through our education. Thank you. Let, let me uh, add another minute to it. Um, for those, uh, for those recently uh, purchased Camarize, uh, um, how I escaped the genocide from Amazon. Uh, I was, I sought a search of of uh, purchasing and um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the last 10 copy that was purchased and the money the proceed have been donated to Chapa it, an organization it, uh, our Cambodian professional organization that go to Cambodia to help out health healthcare to provide free healthcare to to Cambodia yeah, so it, it's small, it's, it's small, but you yourself a tap in the back, you know, congratulations, you are part of Cambodian, this mission that they go to uh, Cambodia to help out uh, provide medical care for free. And also uh, a whole chunk of what I already have uh, received the money from Amazon have been donated to uh, the victim of the recent uh, flood uh, victim in Cambodia. So we, um, we you know, it's about, it's, it's, it's good chunk, you know, it's two ton of right. So uh, those um, who purchase it, uh, and you know who you are, and I I'm, I'm just wanted to congratulate you that you uh, somehow purchased this, it's not just for the own, your own benefit, learning the history and hoping this book will help your family move to the right direction in terms of achieve the success in life in America. And also you hope out, you know, uh, our people. And I'm hoping that uh, uh, the, the flood of purchase coming more and more. And I see that uh, in a foreign country because they cannot print, they cannot buy the print copy because the print is only come out from America. They can buy the uh, ebooks all over the world, you know, 
and ebook is much more cheaper, but uh, the same again, the money is still going to you know the people of Cambodia. Thank you so much. ແລະຕ້ອງສົມສົມອົນຄຸນຈານລະກຸບັດຈິກາຍສົມອົນຄຸນກົມນະອານຂອງເຈີລະກຸວິດລະກຸດີເຣັກເຄຣີຊາຍ